Now what is happening is that there is a, an incremental effort beginning with the regime change in Ukraine in 2014 to bring Ukraine into NATO. If Ukraine ever becomes a NATO member state, then Russia will have NATO on its very border. If NATO's, NATO's missiles, nuclear missiles, can hit Moscow in a matter of minutes. This is not a security option that Russia is prepared to accept at all. And so Russia has put its foot down. This is our red line. Whether you accept our red line or you don't accept our red line, that's your choice. This is our red line. That we will not allow a next door neighbor state to pose such a tremendously dangerous threat to our security. So we're going to take steps to ensure the protection of our own security. When the Soviet Union wanted to put nuclear arm missiles in Cuba, the Kennedy administration decided that this was too great a security threat for the United States. And so they put a quarantine around Cuba that they would not allow any Soviet ships to enter Cuba without being searched so that no nuclear um, missiles can be shipped to Cuba. And that was 1962 and the world watched. We were on the brink of nuclear war. And does Cuba have the right? Does Cuba have the right to do what it wants on its own territory? At that time, the United States said, no, Cuba does not have the right to pose a significant threat to the United States. And so the, so the United States intervened and American ships, the Navy surrounded Cuba. And the Soviet ships were coming with missiles. And when they almost reached Cuba and there was going to be confrontation, the Soviet ships turned around and went back home. And so nuclear war was averted. Let us remind all those who are beating the drums, who are beating the drums for Ukraine, let us remind you, if you need to be reminded, that in the same way that the United States expressed its concern for its own security and would not allow Cuba to have nuclear missiles, that could reach the United States. Similarly, Russia has to be recognized to have a right to protect its own security. It is a superpower. It's the most powerful military power in the world today. And so that is the moral argument and the political argument for those who say, no, no, Ukraine has the right to do what Ukraine wants to do. Well, fine. You cross the red line and you see what's going to happen. Russia is not going to back down. This is the first point I want to mention to you. So if, if these fools with a capital F in NATO decides to continue on this foolish path, they will take mankind to nuclear war and they're the ones to be blamed for it.